in spite of my protests, but at the suggestion of Cardinal Wolsey. I was then elected the Speaker of the House of Commons. In the House of Commons, I presented my petition for free speech and worked hard to defend the liberty of the House of Commons. I also defended the teachings of the Church in the public square and was unbending against heresy and schism. I saw that the Church was in need of reform, but I advocated a peaceful means by a gradual reform of education, laws and customs. Therefore, I wrote particularly harshly against the German apostate priest Martin Luther, who was calling for reform in Germany. Martin Luther used inflammatory words as he called for the violent overthrow of legitimate but flawed institutions. He hurled a burning torch on all of Germany and lit a wildfire that then began to consume the world. When 70,000 German peasants were slaughtered in Germany in the Peasants' Revolt, I considered Martin Luther to be largely responsible. King Henry VIII also despised heresy and wrote his own book against Martin Luther, in which he defended the seven sacraments of the Church. This great work earned the king the title Defender of the Faith from the Holy Father, the Pope. Martin Luther responded to King Henry VIII's book with a foul-mouthed and virulent attack upon it. So I responded to Martin Luther with my own answer to his attack, which was published in 1523. Thus, I worked hard to defend the continuous attacks upon unity, continuity and truth especially in England. Other heretics, in sad imitation of the apostate priest Luther, rose in England and published their own works of error and rebellion. So it was that Bishop Tunstall gave me a special dispensation to read all of the heretical books in circulation for the purpose of a clear and learned refutation. Through my study, I grasped these heretics' arguments very clearly. Cardinal Wolsey and I then forbade the importation of Lutheran works into England so as to guard and protect the truths of Christ and his Church on earth in the hearts of weak souls who could easily be deceived. 